the anatomy of the skull. In the adult, the skull consists of 22 individual bones. The brain case consists of eight bones. These include the paired parietal and temporal bones, plus the unpaired frontal, ethmoid, sphenoid, and occipital bones. The parietal bone forms most of the upper lateral side of the skull. These are paired bones, with the right and left parietal bones joining together at the top of the skull. Each parietal bone is also bounded anteriorly by the frontal bone, and posteriorly by the occipital bone, and inferiorly by the temporal bone. The temporal bone forms the lower lateral side of the skull. The temporal bone contains some important landmarks. The external acoustic meatus, or ear canal, is the large opening located on the lateral side of the skull that is associated with the ear. The internal acoustic meatus is an opening located inside the cranial cavity on the medial side of the petrous ridge. This connects the middle ear and inner ear cavities of the temporal bone. The mandibular fossa is a deep oval-shaped depression located on the external base of the skull just in front of the external acoustic meatus. The mandible, or lower jaw, joins with the skull at this site as part of the temporomandibular joint, or TMJ. The frontal bone is the single bone that forms the forehead. The occipital bone is the single bone that forms the posterior skull and the posterior base of the cranial cavity. On the base of the skull, the occipital bone contains a large opening called the foramen magnum. The foramen magnum allows for passage of the spinal cord as it exits the skull. On either side of the foramen magnum is an oval-shaped occipital condyle. These condyles form joints with the first cervical vertebrae and thus support the skull on top of the vertebral column. The sphenoid bone is a single complex bone located at the center of the skull. It serves as a keystone bone because it joins with almost every other bone of the skull. The cella tersica is located at the midline of the middle cranial fossa. This houses the pea-sized pituitary gland. The ethmoid bone is a single midline bone that forms the roof and lateral walls of the upper nasal cavity. It also creates the upper portion of the nasal septum and contributes to the medial wall of the orbit of the eye. Within the nasal cavity, the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone forms the upper portion of the nasal septum. Extending from each lateral wall are the nasal concha. These are thin, curved projections that extend into the nasal cavity. In the cranial cavity, the ethmoid bone forms a small area at the midline in the floor of the anterior cranial fossa. This portion of the ethmoid bone consists of two parts, the cristagalli and the cribriform plates. The cristagalli, which means rooster's comb or crest, is a small upward bony projection located at the midline. This structure functions as an anterior attachment point for one of the covering layers of the brain. To either side of the cristagalli is the cribriform plate. The cribriform plate is a small flattened area with numerous small openings termed the olfactory foramina. Small nerve branches from the olfactory areas of the nasal cavity pass through these openings to enter the brain. Thank you for watching.